Hi, this is your teacher Barbara Rademacher and I'm just helping you review how to use my math lab to graph. Although this product is the wonderful free product made by Pearson called Interact Math and you can get here at interactmath.com. It's the same technology, however. Okay, here we go. All you have to do to graph a point is drop and drag the point. Making sure my, my microphone is there. Yes, it is. So it's probably going to rattle a little bit, but I won't do that again. Okay, we're going to graph the point 1, 5. I am going to hover my arrow over the point, and I'm going to push down on the... Uh, uh, I'm going to right-click on the mouse. That means I'm going to click on the regular mouse key. Um, and I'm going to go, since we're going uh, to graph the point 1, 5, I'm going to go positive 1 in the x direction, which is to the right, and then positive 5 in the y direction, which is up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'll release the point. And I will check my answer, at which point I'm told that I am fantastic. OK, I hit OK, and I go on to the next problem, which is number 2. However, if I had problems with this, I can always click Similar Exercise, and that would give me another point to graph, in this case, the point 4, 2. So again, I will right-click on the point. I will go positive 4, that's to the right positive 4 in the x direction, and positive 2 in the y direction, oops, which means up, release, check answer, yes, excellent. Okay, let's go to number 2. Aha, I'm going to graph the point negative 2, 3. So I get ready, I right click on the point, I take it negative 2 in the x direction, which means to the left. Negative in the x direction means to the left. When the first number is negative, you move to the left. The second number, 3, is positive. That's called the y coordinate. I move up 3. 1, 2, 3, and I release. Remember, this is the x coordinate. You move sideways, either to the left or right. Left, if you've got a negative sign, and right if you don't. The second number is called the y-coordinate. If it's positive, you move up. If it's negative, you move down. And I check my answer, and there I have it. Nice work, Barb. OK, I go on to number 3. Ooh, two negatives. Can I do this? Yes, of course, because it's all a matter of understanding the language. Here's negative 3, the first number. That's the x-coordinate. If it's negative, I move to the left. The second number, negative 2, is the y-coordinate. If it's negative, I move down. So I go to the point right there in the middle. We call that the origin. I right-click on it. I move to the left 3, 1, 2, 3, and I move 2 down, 1, 2, and I release. I go to check answer. There it is. Fantastic. Let's try number 4. All right. The first number, the x-coordinate, is positive. That means I'll move to the right. The second number, the y-coordinate, is negative. That means I'll move down. I go to the point in the middle, and I right-click. 1, 2, 3, oop, 4, 5. There's 5. I don't release yet. Don't release. Instead, I have to look at the next coordinate, negative 3, and I go down 1, 2, 3. Now I release, and I check my answer. Excellent! Okay, let's go to the next one. You've got a 0 as one of your coordinates. That means it's something that we call an intercept. Okay, in this case, when 0 is in the first position, your x-coordinate is 0, which means you don't go to the left or the right. Instead, you just move directly in the y direction, in, uh, in this case, because 5 is negative. You'll move down 5. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, that's the answer, but suppose I get it wrong. Let's go somewhere that's not the right answer. 
Now I'm going to check the answer. Oops, what does it say here? Sorry, that's not correct. Recall that a point is written as xy. To plot the point, start at the origin, 0, 0, that's the center, and move the cursor to the right or the left. Ah, uh, here it is. Yes, I just realized I was out of the bounds of the video. You'll get instructions right here. Okay, so I'm going to click Done. And now I'm going to move to the correct position, which is right there. I'm going to check my answer, and I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to close, because I'm done with this set of exercises. Hurrah for me! OK, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.